Hello friends, in this session we shall discuss about liquid-liquid partition chromatography. Although the technique of chromatography was developed in 1900s, it was not widely used due to poor separation of components. This changed when Martin and Singe published their paper titled A New Form of Chromatogram Employing Two Liquid Phases in 1941. This laid the foundation of modern chromatography for which they were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1952. In this technique, both the stationary phase and mobile phase are liquids and the principle behind it is partitioning of the components between the two immiscible liquids with differing polarities. The stationary phase often consists of a thin layer of polar liquid like water, alcohol, etc. held on to the surface of porous, inert, solid support, probably cellulose, silica gel, starch, calcite, kisselgar, etc. The mobile phase is a non-polar liquid immiscible with the stationary phase. On introducing a mixture to the top of the column, the different components distribute themselves to different extent between the stationary and mobile phase. The extent to which they are retained by either the stationary phase or mobile phase depends upon its partition coefficient. This is the principle of liquid-liquid partition chromatography. What exactly is partition coefficient? It is the ratio of the concentration of the components in stationary phase to that of its component in mobile phase. In other words, higher the partition coefficient value of a component, greater is its affinity to stationary phase. Thus, large fraction of the component will reside in the stationary phase than in the mobile phase. That means that the time required to pass through the column would be higher for such components. In the case of partition column chromatography, the mixture to be separated is added to the top of the column along with the mobile phase. As mobile phase moves down, it carries with it different components of the mixture which are partitioned between the two phases at varying rates. Components with greater affinity to stationary liquid phase move slowly, while those with more affinity to mobile phase move at a greater rate through the column. This chromatographic technique can be used for identification and separation of organic and inorganic mixtures. For example, a mixture of cobalt and nickel can be separated using water supported on cellulose as stationary phase and acetone containing HCl as mobile phase. They find application in both laboratory and industrial scale. They are also widely used for identification of contaminants like pesticides and insecticides. That is all for now. Thank you.